On either side the river lie Long fields of barley and rye That clothe the world and meet the sky And through the field the road runs by To many towered Camelot The yellow leaved water lily The green sheathed daffodilly Tremble in the water chilly Round about Shalott Willows whiten, aspens shiver the sunbeam showers break and quiver in the stream that runneth ever by the island in the river, blowing down to Camelot. Four gray walls and four gray towers overlook a space of flowers, and the silent isle embowers the Lady of Shalott. Underneath the bearded barley, the reaper reaping late and early hears her ever chanting cheerily, like an angel singing clearly o'er the stream of Camelot, piling the sheaths and furrows airy. Beneath the moon, the reaper weary, listening whispers, "'Tis the fairy, Lady of Shalott." The little isle is all enrailed, with the rose fence and overtrailed with roses by the margin hailed. The shallow flitted, silken sailed, skimming down to Camelot. A pearl garland winds her head. She leaneth over on a velvet bed, full royally appaired, the Lady of Shalott. No time hath she to sport and play, a charmed web she weaves away. The curse is on her if she stay, her weaving, either night or day, to look down to Camelot. She knows not what the curse may be, therefore she weaveth steadily, therefore no other care hath she, the Lady of Shalott. She lives with little joy or fear over the water running near. The sheep bell tinkles in her ear. Before her hangs a mirror clear, reflecting towered Camelot. And as the many mazy webs she whirls, she sees the surly village churls and the red cloaks of market girls pass onward from Shalott. Sometimes a troop of damsel glad, an abbot on an ambling pad, Sometimes a curly shepherd lad, or long-haired page in crimson clad, goes by to tower Camelot. And sometimes through the mirror blue, the knights come riding two by two. She hath no loyal knight and true, the Lady of Shalott. But in her web she still delights to weave the mirror's magic sights. For often through the silent nights of funeral, with plumes and lights and music, came from Camelot. When the moon was overhead, came two young lovers lately wed. I am half sick of shadows, said the Lady of Shalott.